Hi besties, so my exam results will be coming out next week on the 1st of July but I'll actually be on a road trip from Melbourne to Sydney during that time. So I thought I'd sit down first and kind of give you my predictions and expectations for my results because I actually had wrote down like all my thoughts after each exam so I know exactly how I was feeling and what I kind of expect my results would be like. So if you guys didn't know, I'm studying at the University of Melbourne under the Melbourne International Undergraduate Scholarship. I plan on majoring in immunology, which is the study of the human immune system. So for this first semester of university, I took biology, chemistry, this weird core subject that UniMelt forces all science students to take, and business law as my extra subject. I made a really poor decision and careless mistake honestly by taking three very heavy subjects along with having a full-time job as a YouTuber. The amount of stress and mental breakdowns I tell you, never again. <laughs> so a H1 is the highest score you can get which is kind of equivalent to a distinction or an A+. This is followed by H2A, H2B, H3 and so on. In an ideal world, I would love to get H1 for every single one of my subjects but that's kind of like an unrealistic expectation. Okay, I wouldn't say unrealistic, but more like unnecessary pressure that I'm putting on myself. So I'd be happy with like a H1 average. We have a final exam at the end of each semester, but we do have mid-semester tests and quizzes kind of sprinkled in between that contribute to your final grade. So here is my prediction. Okay, so for chemistry, to be honest, I didn't really find this unit to be too hard. I think I'll do well for chemistry and I'm fully expecting a H1 because I did quite well for the mid-semester tests and the quizzes that we did along the semester. To be honest, the final paper was much harder than I anticipated and I had really poor time management as well, that's all on me, so I didn't have time to double check my answers and if I don't get a H1 or first class honours, it's probably just because I made a lot of careless mistakes and nothing else really. Next, biology. Okay, I don't think I'll do very well, to be honest, for biology as in I don't think I'll get a H1. Basically, I had calculated all my marks that I received from the small test group projects and quizzes and I realized that in order to score an overall H1 grade, I can only lose very few marks in my final exam. And if you took biology before, you know how difficult exams are. The reason why I didn't do very well for my quizzes and mid-semester tests is because my biology tests were always after my chemistry tests. So I'll put in all my time studying for chemistry and then neglect biology. Next, let's go to business law. I am not sure to be honest because this is the first time I'm taking law so I don't know what to expect and I don't know how the exams are going to be like. For the mid-semester test, I scored borderline H1 so really my final exam can go either way. Whether I get a H1 or a H2A doesn't really matter to me and I'll be happy either way to be honest. So for my compulsory subject, today's science and tomorrow's world, this is a little bit different. This is a pass or fail subject. So whether you get 51 or 100, you're still gonna get the same mark, which is a pass. I'm pretty sure that 99% of people that took this unit passed. I am sure that I'll pass this subject. I did really well for the two essays that they gave us. And yeah, this subject is actually pretty useless. I have no idea why the University of Melbourne decided to add it into their curriculum for all science students, but I hope they improve it or just scrap it all together. So these are my predictions. I'll be heading to Sydney when my results are released. So if I get a good mark, then I guess the rest of my trip is a celebration. <laughs> Hello, I'm back and I've collected some goodies. Anyway, here are my results. So I scored all H1, Biology, Chemistry, Law and I also passed my compulsory subject, Today's Science and Tomorrow's World. My average is 86, which is really, really shocking to me as well, by the way. 
it's well above 80 which is the threshold mark for first class honors and I'm just I'm so proud of myself for being able to achieve this kind of results along with like working YouTube full time and moving to another country and all of that I'm just yeah I'm really shocked <laughs> I'll go through my marks now one by one. So for chemistry, I scored 89. And I think I predicted that I would score a H1. So this is great. And I actually received a really exciting email from the director of first year studies at the School of Chemistry. And she told me that the university is willing to waive the chemistry one prerequisite for your enrollment in chemistry 10004 in semester two, 2022. Basically, I took Introduction to Chemistry in Semester 1, so I'm supposed to take Chemistry 1 in Semester 2 and then Chemistry 2 next year. But what this School of Chemistry told me is that they're willing to let me skip Chemistry 1 and go straight to the next unit, which I think is great because I'll save a lot of money and a lot of time as well, so that's really amazing. I'll consider the offer, I'm not so sure if I'll take it because it'll be really difficult, but What's life without a little bit of challenge, right? For biology, surprisingly, I scored 85, which means I did really well for my final exam. Kinda unexpected, <laughs> because I didn't do really well for the small tests and quizzes that we had throughout the semester. I wonder how much more enjoyable the learning process would have been if I was a lot less stressed and my time management was better. So. That is something that I really need to work on in the next semester and I'll keep that in mind. You guys remind me, okay? For principles of business law, I scored 84, which is, I mean, great. <laughs> I did really well. Uh, I went in with no expectations, so I'll be happy with either results. But yeah, I'm happy I did well. I just wished I had not waited till the last minute to kind of ask questions and kind of hammer down my understanding on the concepts and the questions that they will be asked in the exam. So I'll definitely keep that in mind. Will I take law again in the future semesters? Maybe? I really enjoy learning it, but it's just a lot of work and a lot of reading. So I'm not so sure if I'm able to handle that kind of stress again, but we'll see. I really enjoy studying it though. So this concludes my first semester university results reaction video. Um, I definitely could do better with managing my stress and my time, but there's definitely room for improvement. You guys voted to watch this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Were you disappointed or happy with your recent exam marks? Like this video for good luck for your next exam, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you guys for 575,000 subscribers and I'll see you all next week. Bye bye. Follow my Instagram.